Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> everyone I am Celicia D. Cole welcome back to my channel and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button subscribe like share comment all of that be sure to subscribe hit that bell y'all okay so we're gonna jump right into this video y'all know I like to jump right into my videos I don't like to procrastinate anyway today's uh upload today's video vlog whatever you want to call it is gonna be about my luxury perfume haul as the title says so um but before i do that i have to thank all my new followers i can't i'm so grateful like super grateful my last uh, upload which was my fourth consecutive upload on youtube reached over 13,000 views. I couldn't believe it. I'm 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 still grateful. I I I'm telling you. I am a very very new YouTuber. I started YouTubing last year and I was just kind of playing around originally. But uh, man, I am so shocked that um my last upload made got so many views. So I want to just tell y'all a little bit what I had about what I had going on because I did take a little break and uh, I'm telling y'all whenever I'm stressed, I cannot fake it. You will know when I'm stressed. So I don't like to pretend like I don't like to do anything and pretend and be real fake about nothing. So if I'm stressed, I'm not going to get on here and make no upload or nothing. But so anyway, I opened up a. Uh, my salon is now a cosmetology school. So y'all need to go follow my page. Uh, my salon page is Face It Lash and Beauty. Face It Lash and Beauty. So it is a salon slash cosmetology school. So uh, people can come to my school and get their license to be an esthetician or an uh, um, eyelash technician, eyelash specialty license. So, and we also do microblading and um, other stuff like that. So y'all have to go check out my salon page and my regular page is Celicia the Original. And trust me, my page looks like it's maybe a spam page, but it's not. I think I only have like a hundred followers, but it's by choice because I don't like to let everybody into my rural, into my life. I'm very private, even though I do like to get out there sometimes. So I just wanted to tell y'all a little bit while I've been gone. I've also been in school myself and trying to finish school myself. That's been hard. That's been a lot. So, and I also did some travel. So I had to upload some uh, videos about my travels to Hawaii and uh, Cabo. And I'm also going to upload that Dubai um, travel vlog that I never <laughs> uploaded. So I'll, I'll have that done. I'll, have, I'll do it. I ain't going to say when. I'm not. One more thing before we get started. I need to show y'all this cute silk. Um, PJ set that I got from Amazon. Oh my gosh, it's super cute. Let me show you. Y'all gotta see. Look at how cute. Cute little PJ set, honey. Yes. So, Amazon haul. Yeah, I know. So, I'm gonna get that done. So, uh, I'm gonna get right into it. Look, I said I was gonna get right into it before, and I <laughs> started rambling on. But, anywho, perfumes, here we go. Okay, so the first one is Delina La Rose by Perfumes de Marley. This smells so good, so sweet. It just smells so feminine. I had wore this around the holiday time. I had went to Hobby Lobby and this lady had stopped me and she was like, what do you have on? Oh my gosh. And I'm like, girl, Perfumes de Marley. <laughs> go get you some and she's like she had to stop me the way she tracked me down was like oh ma'am <laughs> like, 
like, I got to know what you got on. No, oh, this smells really good. They have like about 12 different bottles. And most people like the solid pink color. That's the one I always see everyone with, the, like the solid pink color. But me, I have to like try every one of them. And I'm like, I'm going to pick the one that I feel like I really like the most. But And this is the one I left with, the Delina La Rose by Perfumes and Marley. I hope y'all have y'all pens and paper out because y'all know I don't be tagging nothing. It's too much on me. It's just too much on me. So we're moving on to Vera Wang Princess. This one here is like a throwback for me. Like I will always keep a Vera Wang Princess in my collection. This is my second bottle. I had to get another one, but I'm scared to use it because I don't want to use it all. And a bottle is what I've always loved about it because it's like a paperweight. Like you can lay it flat like this or you can let, have it standing straight up. And then it has like the the two ring little things. I always thought this bottle was super cute. So I think it just makes your collection look cute to have it in there. It just makes it look really cute. This is like my first luxury perfume, but now it's like everywhere. They sell it everywhere. And it smells like really sweet. It's like a really sweet uh, perfume, but I really like this perfume and I'm always going to keep one in my collection. And the next ones are my Versace. I really like Versace perfumes. I feel like Versace can do no wrong when it comes to perfumes. I have, I think Versace is like the most, uh, bottles like the most i have in my collection as far as like i have like more versace perfumes in my collection than any other brand so uh i'm gonna start off with the little one uh bright crystal this one it smells really light uh it came in a collection like with two and i gave my daughter the big one i kept the little travel size um it smells really light though um, uh, that's the only thing I don't like about this one is that this bright crystal is really light. So I feel like it wears down really, really fast, but it's a light summer scent or spring scent. If you don't like like a really, really strong odor, you want to still smell sweet. I feel like a bright crystal is a good one, especially if you have like, like where you get, um, sinus issues when you uh, smell loud perfume. I feel like the uh, Versace Bright Crystal is great because it wears down really quickly and it's not too strong. The next one is Versace Dylan. There's this one. And of course the bottle is blue. So I was definitely attracted to the bottle. Like blue is my favorite color. And this one is so good for spring. It smells so good. It smells like springtime. The bottle doesn't give me springtime, but it smells like springtime. <laughs> the bottle looks heavy, like more like winter time, but it smells like springtime. So the bottle is really luxe though. I like it. I like it. So uh, the next one. Uh, Versace is this one. I've had this one for so long. Versace v -Sense. And I once my perfume gets to like halfway, I'll stop using it because I don't want to have to buy another one. But this is one of my favorite springtime scents. It smells like really soft, really light, really fresh. So Versace Dialing, this is one of my favorites. And uh, like uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Cartier. Cartier. R I V I E R E S. You pronounce it. Anywho, it came. In, okay, they have like three bottles. They have like a pink one, a yet this yellow one, and a blue one. And this was my favorite out of the three. I got this one like at the end of the year, and it's strong, but it wears down so good and light. It's like luxury, like springtime luxury. I don't know if it has like pheromones in it, but it really attracts me to it. It's like, it draws me to it. And it's like a weird smell also. Like I'm attracted to like weird scents a little bit too. Something that smells different. Like 
something that I never smelled before. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Because this scent will not be for everyone. It's like, what do you call it? An acquired smell. <laughs> like, everybody ain't gonna like it. It's like, it has a little weirdness, but it's sweet. And then it smells like luxury. It's, of course, it's Cartier. So it's like, it's different. But um, the next one is Tom Ford. So, Tom Ford. Oh, let me go to this. Uh, yeah. So, I got this little Tom Ford shimmer. I also got the, um, what is it? The, the red one in travel purse size. I think I'm about finished with that one. But this shimmer, I feel like everybody needs a little shimmer. Like, put it on your neck, put it on your chest on your arms like and it also has a it's a, well it's a shimmer body oil it also has a little uh, perfume scent and i also picked up this tom ford mandarin d look you see that what it say i'm gonna let y'all pronounce this stuff i'm not about to play with that so it's the one that says mandarin in the light blue bottle and i think i was most attracted by the bottle the bottle color. Of course, I'm a sucker for light blue. Blue. It's just the, the bottle color. I came in to ask them, where's the light blue bottle? <laughs> That's what I said when I walked in. Like, I want the light blue bottle. I didn't care how it smelled. I'm like, I want the light blue bottle. Because I like to have the color pops of blue in my collection. I just had to have it. But uh, let's see what's next. Baccarat. Baccarat is one that every girl needs in her collection. These are not cheap. Like this bottle cost me about $400. But it is not a full size bottle, as you can see. The full size bottle costs $800. Okay, $800. I love perfume luxury perfume but look a girl gotta draw a line somewhere so if y'all know where i can get me a big bottle of baccarat for less than eight hundred dollars please tag tag it down in the comment section i need it but baccarat is like <sighs> top notch it's like the creme de la creme you know what i mean like even the spray even a little spray thing is like top notch it's like it's just a bomb. But um, moving on, Chanel number five. It's another must have. Like every girl should have Chanel number five in her collection. You gotta have it. And Chanel number five smells like powder, like clean, like fresh cleanliness. Like <laughs> you're a clean woman. <laughs> it smells good. So. You have to have your Chanel number five in your collection. You have to just have to. I'm just playing. You don't have to. If you don't want to. Um, the next one is Burberry Her Lon London Dream. I had smelled this at Sephora and they ran out. They only had the sample bottle. And I'm like, I need it. So I went to, uh, I think, Macy's and they had it. And they had a big bottle. But the thing about it is they have like three um burberry hers they all have the word her so you have to know like how to def like how to figure out which one you really want the one uh that i have here is her london dream and this one i love it it smells so good so sweet it just it just smells so good. It just smells so feminine, so light, so airy. It's like springtime scent. Spring, definitely springtime scent. I love it. It smells so good. And the next one is every girl's must have as well. Flower Balm. Psh, flower Balm. Let me guess your favorite fragrance. You got to have Flower Balm in your collection, okay? You got to. It smells so sweet. If you don't like sweet, sugary, then you, you're you not going to like this. I'm going to be honest. You're not going to like this. Because this smells like sweet candy or sweet. Uh, 
it has like all kinds of different orchids. Um, like when the, um, the lady was telling me about it, like she was just describing all the different orchids and all the different uh, tones and notes that it has in it. This one is super sweet and very, very girly. This one is a must have. Um, the next one is a Valentino Voss. I hope that's real. Yeah, Valentino Voss. This one is another one. This one to me smells like cotton candy, like a luxury cotton candy. If that's the, if that even exists, because that's what it smells like to me, like luxury cotton candy. It just smells so sweet and. It just smells sweet. So luxe and sweet. As you can see, I really like sweet perfumes. And that brings me to this one. This one is super sweet as well. They kind of bounce off each other. Like they both have a sweet Valentino. I mean, this that's Valentino Voss. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. And I got this from what, Ulta? I forget, but I got a really good deal on this. I didn't pay much for this at all. And it was like a steal. I think I, I had like a credit or something. I don't know. But um, the next one is, I think this is a favorite to a lot of women. Like the YSL Libre. Every time somebody has this on, I always know they have it on. Like I can smell it from a mile away. Libre is like, I guess it's a... Uh, I don't know, but everybody loves Libre. <laughs> everybody likes it. Everybody likes Libre so much. So, um, most likely you'll like it. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Some these back. The next one is Chanel Mademoiselle. Mm -hmm. I got this. This is my first Chanel perfume. I got this just because of the name. Like, I'm like, the name just speaks and screams luxury. And I had it a while. I had it, what, like, I had it like a while. This is Chanel Mademoiselle. It smells like luxury. It's, some people may think that it smells like a rich old woman, and it does. It definitely smells like a rich old woman. It smells exactly like a rich old woman. <laughs> So whenever I really want to uh, feel like really fancy or like really luxurized, I'll throw on the Mademoiselle, honey, in high society. <laughs> so that's what Mademoiselle is giving me. Um, next, uh, Tiffany Shear. I feel like this is so underrated. This is like, for me, I feel like every girl should have Tiffany Shear or the other Tiffany. Everybody likes the other Tiffany's. I like this one better than the other one. I like, again, I always try the other ones in the collection. I don't always like to go with the most popular scent. So this is the one that I liked most, the um, Tiffany Shear. It's light and airy and it's so girly. It just seems like you're a sweet, kind little lady. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Like a sweet, kind lady would wear this way. Like, it just smells so nice, sweet, and dainty. It just smells like feminine, womanish. Like, not womanish, more feminine, ladylike. And Miss Dior. Okay. I feel like I just had to have this bottle. I don't feel like. I liked it as much. I feel like I just wanted it, like to have it in my collection, to just have me a Dior perfume. But this one also smells sweet, but it's like a different scent to me. Like it's not one that I would normally pick out. It smells nice, but I feel like it's like, it's not my favorite, I guess. <laughs> But I do like it. I do like it. And, oh, what am I going to? Gucci Bloom. Where are you? Okay. So Gucci Bloom. When I picked this out, I really liked it. 
I don't know why, but now it smells like uh, trees or branches or something. It smells like, I don't know, it's weird. Because I really like the way it smelled in the store. But when I got home, I'm like, um, it smells like trees or branches or like you hiking in the woods. So I feel like that's a good fall scent. <laughs> if you want to smell like, like, I don't know. But they have a new Gucci, and I really want it. It smells so good in the store, but I end up buying another. I don't know what. I, I think I end up buying the Burberry that day. But I'm going to go back and get it. The next one. Uh, okay, so this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, this one. This is Chanel Chance. I got this, I think, for Mother's Day. Uh, I just got it. I think my husband got it. I told him what that I wanted this for Mother's Day, but I had never smelled it. It smells really light and summery. Uh, it's the uh, Chanel Chance. It just smells really light and summery. Uh, I don't have anything to say about it <laughs> other than that. Uh, so let me go. Okay. So one uh, perfume that I think I will always have in my collection as well, and it's so inexpensive, but I will always have in my collection, is the Hollister California. Like, it's just, I think it has some type of pheromones in here because anytime you go into like a Hollister store or anything, like the stores just smell like this. It just smells so good. I actually like this Hollister California more than some of my really, really expensive perfumes. I think these are only like $20, $25. And like, this is one of my favorite perfumes. It's, it smells so good. Like, it just smells great. And whenever I wear that, people always act, they're like, oh, you smell good. I'm telling you, the cheaper ones are good. Oh, and I cannot forget up this it's like this cool water this one is like nostalgic for me like it takes me back to high school it reminds me of high school it just all the memories start to play in my mind when i smell it takes me right back to high school every time i smell this scent it takes me back it takes me back like cool water and isamiyaki like those were like the brands back then and they still smell good i need to get a bottle of isamiyaki the one for men okay y'all last but not least uh i'm gonna show y'all what i bought myself for my birthday one of the things i bought myself for my birthday so i must be one of the few people who did not know that louis vuitton had perfumes like whenever i go in there i never look at perfume i'm never going in there for perfumes <laughs> but this time i did so I got back over here. I got this California Dream. And I thought what I thought was so cool about it is that hold on. Aside from it smelling amazing. Um and it comes in, I love the way it comes in all these different little compartments. What I thought was so cool about it is that they uh put my initials on the bottle. So, you see it has like a little SG on the bottle. And I don't know why I never paid attention. But this smells so good. Oh my gosh. I think he said it had pheromones in it. So, I am a sucker for pheromones. And the, the top is a magnet. So... I thought that was super cute. They had so many to choose from. Like, we had made a list in the store. Me and um, the guy that works there. Uh, what do they call Essays. They call them essays. What? I forget what they call. But anywho, uh, the guy that worked in there, he had made a list. He was like, we're going to write down the top favorite ones you like. I had like seven in my top favorite. And then he's like, you got to narrow them down. <laughs> so this was like in my top three. So it's like two more that I have to go back and get. I don't have to, but I have to. So California Dream by Louis Vuitton. It smells so good. 
smells like summertime. That's why I got it because I wanted to get ready for summer and spring. So, and that concludes, let me close this back. This concludes my, um, my upload for today i'm so happy that y'all tuned in thank you for watching please do not forget to like share subscribe 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 and i just want to thank y'all again for just taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and become a subscriber like it means a lot to me and it also makes me want to continue on it really motivates me so thank you all again and have a great day